Hello children, my name is Mira and this is Jazzy Dog and today we'll be reading Charlie's Adventures. Charlie's Adventures about me. Hi, my name is Charlie and I'm a Sheltie dog. I live with my mom and dad in a little gray house with a big backyard. We have a lot of pine and oak trees with squirrels who live in them. And here's Charlie. Our town is near the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains in North Georgia. We go hiking the trails on the weekends. It is important to stay on the marked trail. If you don't, you could get lost. As long as you follow the trail markers, you always find your way back. I keep watch over my family because I'm a herding dog. It's just what I do best. I make sure they stay on the trail and do not wander off. It is my duty to keep them together and safe. On the trails, all my senses are alert. I keep watch to make sure no one is left behind. We meet many different hikers on the trail. Some of them make a long trek that may last days, weeks, and even months. The long distance hikers have big backpacks with all of the supplies they need to make their journey. They wear dirty hiking boots and have a lot of stories to tell. Here's Charlie. Hiking. They know how to set up a tent and they're not afraid of camping alone in the dark. They ration their food and water and make trips to town to restock their supplies. It is so cool. Exploring my hometown. We enjoy exploring my hometown in our Jeep. We ride along the winding country roads. There are farmhouses, fields, and woods along the way. It is a beautiful countryside. Here's Charlie in the Jeep. I stick my head out of the window. I love the feeling of the cool air flowing through my hair. People always smile and wave at me when they see me. I smile back. The wind in my face gives me a sense of flying. I smile ear to ear and think to myself, what a wonderful world. One time we came across a small family farm and decided to stop and look inside. I followed an oinking sound and saw pigs rolling in mud. I looked at mom thinking, how are they allowed to get this dirty? Not sure I want to smell that snout. Here's Charlie at the farm and the pig. I heard a baaaaaah sound and saw some sheep and goats. They were curious to meet me. They were munching on some hay. I joined in to be polite but spat it out. Not my favorite flavor. Suddenly, I felt like running around them. I really wanted to keep them together. I, it was the only way to keep them safe. But no immediate danger was in view. I was on a mission. I wanted to herd them. And here's Charlie with a goat and sheep. Another of my favorite spots is the Chattahoochee River, or the Hooch for short. The river runs across my home state of Georgia. We go hiking for walks along the river and see geese, ducks, and herons. One time, we saw geese feeding in the shallow water and catching small fish. Gulp, 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 here went lunch. Here's some ducks or geese. All I could do was watch them in admiration and drink some icy cold water with a taste of frog. Yum. During summer, we like to cool off in the lake. Lake Sydney Lanier is a short drive from our house. We pack up some food, snacks, water, and head out to the lake. There are many islands on the lake. We discovered a tiny island that nobody knows about. It is our secret spot. We have to take a boat to get to the island. The boat ride is a little scary, so I snuggle with mom for safety. Here's Charlie in the boat. When we reach the island, I'm the first one to get off the boat. I run on the beach and bark with excitement, excitement, happy to feel the sand between my paws. We spend all day fishing and swimming. 
Dad catches stri striped bass and trout, but releases them. No interest in keeping them for food. I lie down to bask in the sun. I watch the bugs beneath my nose going about their business. There are so many varieties. Here's Charlie on the beach. There are beetles, snails, caterpillars, ants, and many others. Ants are the hardest working bunch and heavy lifters. I see ants carrying a load that is 10 times bigger than they are in size. How can the ants be so strong? I find them so cool. I catch a slight movement with the corner of my eye. I see a shadow coming close to me quickly. I look up and see an eagle circling above the island, looking for prey. Such a noble bird. If only I had wings, I would join the eagle and chase away the squirrels. The big adventure awaits. Today is the start of a long road trip. We are to visit several states and explore beautiful places. This is going to be a great adventure. Excitement is in the air. We begin our road trip by exploring the northern part of Georgia. Here's Charlie in the car. The first stop is the town of Dahlonega. It is a historic gold mining town. There's an underground gold mine museum called the Consolidated Gold Mine. The museum lets the visitors story the cave where the largest gold deposits were discovered during the gold rush. Of course, all of the gold is gone by now, but they say there is still some left to be found. After we tour the cave, we can try our luck and pan for gold. Maybe one day you could visit the gold mine too. We continue driving north. We stop at the camping ground at Lake Chatug. We decide to spend the night there. After the day of adventure at the gold mine museum, everyone is tired. We set up our tent and go to bed. I fall asleep thinking about what adventures tomorrow will bring. We wake up early in the morning to explore the lake. Mom and dad go kayaking. I stay on the shore watching them while they play in the water. Here's Charlie watching mom and dad play in the water. I am a Sheltie, so I stay alert with my ears up. I am always ready to go in case I need to swim out to rescue them. I watch over them steadily without blinking. Not even a squirrel can distract me now. We pack up our tent and get ready to continue our adventure. Today, we're going to visit Chattanooga, Tennessee. Just a short drive north through the winding mountain roads and we are here. We explore the city on foot. We eat local food and walk everywhere. Then we go on a boat ride on the Southern Bell Riverboat. Here's Charlie in front of the riverboat. We are seated in the open air deck. Finally, I can rest my paws and just enjoy the views of the city of Chattanooga. That evening, we stay in the hotel called the Chattanooga Choo Choo Hotel. That once was a train station. We could see the old train tracks right in the lobby of the hotel. It is so cool. I dream about taking the Choo Choo train to my next adventure. Another road trip is taking us north into Asheville, North Carolina. The city is green with a lot of hedges and trees to sniff. The city really likes dogs and some restaurants even have dog menus. I would like the twisted bone chicken nugget with sweet potatoes and broccoli on the dog menu and a pup cake for dessert, yum. Asheville is surrounded by the mountains. There are beautiful views all around. Here I am admiring a particularly large squirrel who is lounging on the front lawn of the city hall. Okay, should I chase him away? But I'm too tired from all that walking and exploring, so I just let him be. But really, how bold of him. We spent a few days in Asheville. There's so much to see. Biltmore is one of the sites. 
It is America's largest home that is open for touring. It, it is a 250 room mansion built over 100 years ago. That's a built more. It is the biggest home I have ever visited. Every room is grand. I wondered if dogs ever lived in this mansion in years past. Perhaps Shelties lived here. The mansion is surrounded by beautiful gardens. I run through the gardens smelling the flowers. I lay near the rose bush and take deep breaths of fresh mountain air. Then I think to myself, yes, I could live here. We enjoy our stay in Nashville, but where to next? On the road again, this time we're heading south. We arrive at Charleston, South Carolina. I thought to myself, was I named after this city? The most beautiful trees I have ever seen grow here, the 300-year-old oak trees. I also see the moss that hangs in them, called Spanish moss. Why is it called Spanish moss? Mom says, it was brought from Spain by the sailors a long time ago, and the moss survived in this climate. The moss hangs in trees, hedges, and even power lines. Here's the moss hanging all over those trees. Then I started thinking, is it possible that squirrels br were brought here by the sailors too? They live in the trees. We leave Charleston with so many memories. The next stop is the city of Savannah. We are back in the state of Georgia, but in the coastal area. Georgia is a big state. Savannah has the most beautiful city squares. There's a fountain or a monument in the middle of the square. Here's Charlie in front of a fountain. There are flower gardens and large oak trees covered in moss. There are benches where you can rest a while and think about your next move. We explore the famous sites and eat yummy southern food. We enjoy the city so much that we decide to spend a few days here. We relax and plan our next move. What is the next destination? We continue driving south. We arrive at St. Simons Island in coastal Georgia. I see my very first lighthouse here. There's a lighthouse picture. In the past, lighthouses had a special purpose to guide the ships at sea. To me, they look like a tall tower standing, standing all alone in the sea cliffs. Mom says the bright light shines from the tower onto the dark ocean like a flashlight. Lighthouses can be seen from afar, even in the worst of storms. Today, lighthouses have a different purpose, to tell a story and preserve history. All I wanted to do was to climb to the top. I wondered how many ships did it navigate to safety years ago? Probably a lot. After many days of exploring differ different cities and sites, we finally arrived at our beach destination, St. Augustine, Florida. We made it, let me out. Here's Charlie at the pier. After we check into our rental house, we run to the beach to, to catch the sunset. The sunset is magical with colors of pink, purple, and blue. Once the sun is gone on the horizon, we go inside. I am tired and I fall asleep right away. The next day, we spend on the beach resting and sunbathing. After a full day of lounging and doing nothing, we are ready to explore again. Here we come, St. Augustine, the oldest city in America. The castle, the old town, and the alligator farm are on the to-visit list today. We enjoyed the beach and the old town, but it is time to head back home. After many hours of driving, we're finally home. It is nice to be back. Oh, how I missed my bag. I enjoy traveling as much as being home. At home, my duties are to watch out for the squirrels, keep an eye on my family, and help with chores. Here's Charlie at the top stairs of his home. On our way home, I thought about all the great adventures in the last few weeks, how much I liked exploring the sites, learning history, and trying new foods. 
We visited North Carolina, I'm sorry, we visited North Georgia, coastal Georgia, Tennessee, North and South Carolina, and Florida. So many great memories were made, but, it is, but this is not the end. More adventure awaits. Thank you for listening, children. Again, this is Charlie's Adventures, and this is Jazzy, who is now asleep, and my name is Mira. Till we meet again, bye-bye.